So it's the end of the month or even the start of the month and you've just got paid. Oh, payday is here. Hmm, what do I do with the money? So now you're all confused because previously whenever you get paid, the money just tends to disappear by the end of the month. So now you might be questioning, is there anything that you can be doing with your paycheck to really just stop you from being broke by the end of the month? And if you've been asking yourself that question, then you've come to the right place. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking through six different places I think your money should be going whenever you get paid. Now being aware this is based on my own personal opinion so you really don't have to take it but I do think actually that these six places can be really helpful when it comes to actually getting paid and hopefully it means that you can start to create your own system whenever you get paid so hopefully you can then start to work towards your financial goals. So the first place I think you should be putting your money towards when you do get paid is to actually put money into your savings. Now the reason why I say that is because there is a large proportion of people that do not have any savings at all and you really don't want to be in that position. Now being aware when I'm talking about your savings I do not think that you should just be saving for the sake of saving so you really do want to have a goal with this so whether it's maybe trying to save up for your emergency fund or maybe you've got short-term goals like saving up for a house or a car this is really where it's going to be important because if you don't actually pay yourself first what you might find is that by the time you get to the end of the month where you do want to save money you end up running out and then you might find that there's actually nothing to put towards your savings uh i'm sure it's fine i can just save money at the end of the month and the big reason as to why i actually put this first is because again i want you guys to get used to actually paying your yourself first so before you start thinking about how you want to spend money on your clothes or maybe going out to eat you really want to think about actually putting money towards yourself first and maybe your future first before you start thinking about anything else and if you really do want to know how to save money fast then definitely check out my video where I talk about how to save money fast if you haven't watched that already I will of course link that up here for you and in the description below now if you don't currently have an emergency fund then I would probably say that this is something that you may want to prioritize particularly when it does come to your personal finances so what that means is that every single time you do get paid what you want to be doing is actually allocating a proportion of your savings to make sure that that is going towards building your emergency fund so that you're aware that if anything was to happen like your car broke down or your roof collapsed or you even lost your job you know that you've got enough savings in your emergency fund to really just take care of that situation hmm do I need an emergency fund because those new shoes are calling me now if you have no idea what an emergency fund is or how you can actually start saving for that then don't worry Auntie V is always here for you so I actually do have a video that really talks about building your emergency fund in a bit more detail so definitely check that out if you haven't already I will of course link that up here for you and in the description below but what you essentially want to do as soon as you get paid is almost treat your savings like another bill so that you know that every single time payday comes around you're already putting a proportion of your income into your savings and if you're liking this video so far then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel and you probably already know it's free so the second place I think your money should be going towards whenever you get paid is either your investments or actually overpaying your debt now when I'm specifically talking about investments the reason why I say that is because guys saving money is only going to take you so far now I have actually said this countless times and you guys know that I absolutely love saving money but there comes a time where you actually need to grow that money and make that money work for you and that's where investing is going to come in so that's really why I would say this is another area that you will probably want to look into because once you've obviously saved money and maybe you've got your emergency fund already you want to start thinking about how you can actually grow that money and that's really where investing is going to come in now granted when it comes to investing your money there are going to be specific stages which you will do that so for example if you find you have high interest debt like credit card debt then personally I would be trying to pay that debt off first before I even start thinking about investing and what you might want to be doing is actually building up your emergency fund first before you even start investing as well again that's going to depend on your own risk tolerance and your personal circumstances but if you're at the point where maybe you have got an emergency fund and you don't have any high interest debt and maybe you've already started saving up for your short-term goals then I do think investing should be taken into consideration now please do remember I am not a financial advisor so I'm not specifically telling you what to do with your money but what I would say is that based on my personal opinion again savings is only going to take you so far if you really do want to build wealth and maybe become financially independent then you do really want to think about investing your money okay so you're telling me I could potentially invest some of that money rather than spend it and if you're actually looking to invest your money then of course auntie V is still here for you so I do actually have a video that specifically helps beginners in terms of what investing investing actually means and how you can get started with investing as well so definitely check that video out if you haven't already I will of course link that up here for you and in the description below and then on the flip side if you do have high interest debt then I do think a proportion of your money should be going towards actually overpaying on that debt so that you can become debt free even faster because what you'll find is that if you have high interest debt like credit card debt for example if you're only paying the minimum payment it could actually take you months or even years to pay back especially if you do have a high interest rate yeah I mean a whole load of my credit card debt 
is because of that trip to Bali. So maybe I should start paying that off. So if you do have high interest debt, like credit card debt or maybe car loans, then once you get paid, personally, I would be putting a proportion of my income into actually overpaying on that debt. So the next place I think your money should be going towards whenever you get paid is actually to others in the form of giving. Now, before you clock off this video thinking, what am I talking about? The reason why I've mentioned this is because I do actually think giving is really, really important. Now, personally, I'm a woman of faith. So for me, I will always pay my tithes. And that's one of the first things I would do whenever I get paid. But I do actually think giving is important no matter what your faith is. So whether that's maybe giving to other people or maybe it's giving to charities, just almost kind of being thankful for the life that you have and the money you have, I do actually think is equally important. And the reason why I say it's useful to do this now is because you can then essentially start to build those habits. Because what I found is that some people won't actually give to others because they say, you know, I'll do it whenever I get more money or whenever I get rich or wealthy. And then what tends to happen is because they haven't actually started giving money before, they're probably less likely to do it in the future. Because really and truly, if you think you'll be struggling to give 10% of hundred pounds or hundred dollars today, then are you really going to be confident that you'd be able to give 10% of hundred thousand pounds or hundred thousand dollars in the future? Okay, so I have a hundred pounds and if I give away 10%, that's just 10 pounds taken away. Yeah, I think I could do that actually. So for me personally, I do actually think that giving to others whenever you get paid is something that's quite important and that you might want to consider doing. So the fourth place I think your money should be going towards whenever you get paid is something that you've probably guessed, but it is your essential bills. Now, when I'm specifically talking about essential bills, I'm really talking about things that are essential. So I'm talking about things like your rent, your mortgage, maybe you've got utility bills, maybe you've got tax to pay, maybe you've even got insurance or things like that, or even your phone bill or debt repayments if you do have any. If you're talking about things like Netflix or going out to a restaurant, then I would definitely not consider that essential. Uh, Auntie B, what do you mean Netflix isn't essential? I mean, it's even on my remote. That makes it essential. Now, being aware that obviously I've mentioned essential bills as being the fourth thing that you wanna be doing when you get paid rather than the first thing. And the reason why I say that is because again, I'm a massive advocate of actually trying to pay yourself first and thinking about that in your mindset as well. Now, am I saying that you should be paying 100% of your paycheck towards yourself first before even thinking about essential bills? No, of course not. But what I am saying is when I think about it from a mindset perspective, for me, the first thing I wanna be thinking about whenever I get paid is how much I'm going to be putting towards my savings and my investments rather than my essential bills, even though I already know that I'm gonna be putting money towards my essential bills. But I do think obviously it's something that you should be taking into consideration because you don't want to not be paying your essential bills. So please guys, always pay your bills. So the next area I think your money should be going towards whenever you get paid is sinking funds. Now, the reason why I say sinking funds should be an important area that you want to look at whenever you get paid is because a lot of people end up actually having unplanned expenses. And when they have those expenses, they're more likely to actually dip into their savings, which may have been for an emergency fund, when actually that could have been prevented in the first place because it's not technically an emergency. Oh yeah, my car insurance is due in one week. Is that an emergency? So for example, if you know that you're probably need to gonna pay for car maintenance every single year, or you're going to need to pay for insurance every single year, then I would probably want to plan for that money in advance so it doesn't seem like a surprise every single time it comes up. So ideally, whenever you get paid, what you want to be doing is actually starting to put some money towards those planned expenses, whether that be every single week or every single month, that's totally up to you. But you wanna really start planning for those expenses in advance. And that's really what I mean by sinking funds. Do you know what? I do have the same birthdays and anniversaries coming up every single year. Maybe I should create a sinking fund for them too. Now, if you don't really know what sinking funds are and you maybe want a bit more detail, I have actually done a video really outlining how to save for your sinking fund. So definitely check that video out if you haven't already. Of course, I will link that up here for you and in the description below. Because I'm not gonna lie, that car insurance that you pay for every single year should not be treated as an emergency. So the sixth place I think you should be putting money towards whenever you get paid is general spending and fun. So really here, this is why I'm talking about any discretionary spending that you might have. Now, although this isn't something I would personally prioritize, I do think it's still important because you do still want to enjoy your money. So you're actually telling me I can have fun with my money? Thank you. I thought you would never mention it. And as I keep saying, guys, I will never tell you not to spend your money. But what I just want you guys to think about is where you want to be prioritizing your money and think about how you may want to plan for it as well. So when I'm talking about general spending and fun, this might be things like eating out, it might be entertainment, it might be any extra food that you might want to get, maybe you want to treat yourself to takeaways, anything like that I still do think is important to have because ideally you don't want to just be sitting at home and not spending your money at all and not living life. But what you really want to be thinking about is how can I actually live for today as well as plan for my future tomorrow. But for me personally, once I know that I've paid myself and God first and I've paid for my essential bills and I've put money towards my planned expenses such as sinking funds, then I know that I can 
can already spend the rest of the money how I like because I've already taken care of my future so I can really just use the rest of that money to then just live for today. Do you know what Auntie V? That actually makes sense because now that I've paid myself first I can just spend my money how I like. So again guys I will never tell you not to ever spend your money but what you just want to think about is how can you actually spend that money wisely. So if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments are there any other areas you tend to focus on whenever you get paid. I do post every Tuesday and Friday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on Tuesday.